better myself. <laughs> Here with the Jurex, um, Scott, kind of an ultra champion, ultra runner, uh, Jenny, his wife, and their two kids, um, Evergreen and Raven. Yeah, all right. <laughs> the testosterone. Yeah. <laughs> now there's going to be so many puff balls. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. Awesome. Good job, Bray. Sweet. I'm going to take the rice cooker. I mean, watch. This yeah. part might be. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got it. It's strange. It's strange. <laughs> I got some rice, the rice cooker. That's it. What are we making? Yeah, I'm what? just getting the uh, the grill prepped here. Jenny will show you a few things that she's gonna get working on, but um, I'm just putting some sesame oil on the, the grill pan. So, onigiris don't have to be grilled, but we're um, we're doing it in style here. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. onigiris are. Basically, a like rice ball, rice, ball okay. rice triangles. They come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. Well, a lot of people just shape them in their in hands, hands, but I have a little cheat thing. Okay. The kids like to make them too, but you just push. Put the rice yeah, in there. pack it in pretty tight because you don't want it to fall apart on the grill. Okay. But with onigiri, you don't add vinegar because you don't want it to fall apart. You want it to uh, want stick to together. together. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Show okay. Look at that. You're yeah, hired. See if it like. Here, I'll, I'll brush. So then what we would do is, um, you can do that, brush, okay. brush that one with a little bit of oil. All around? Yep. yep. Make sure it just kind of, I mean, it's most important on the grilling side, so okay. we're going to grill it on top and bottom, so. And you don't, you technically don't have, you don't to, grill have to grill it. it. You know, you, you don't have to grill it. Yeah, yeah, it's ready now. It's plain rice, so. This is a di pickled daikon. So okay. like you see those white radishes. It yeah. kind of like an eel. Um, we have Scott is grilling the onigiri. It's he, like in Japan, sometimes they'll even have it like on a charcoal flame, like a small oh, little cool. tiny, like I love those high, little hibachi meals. Yeah, it's like a little hibachi, but even in like high-end Japanese like restaurants, you'll see yeah. them. Jenny just chopped up some burdock root and daikon, both pickled, that are going to go on the inside. And then I believe, what should I do? Should I brush We're, these? Yeah. So I'm just brushing the top of the onigiri with some special sauce that Jenny whipped up that looked like she just measured with her eyes. <laughs> uh, yeah. But you know, some people yeah. just slap on some teriyaki sauce. So I'm kind of moving these off to the side. One second. And so, yeah, you want it. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Matt. Yeah. This is Got precision. It. Japanese. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, we're we're at, at some point, yeah, you just may blow on a little bit. It is going to be hot. That's delicious. My kids love it. No, it's great. So you basically put you put I put like you a put half, a little half in, half okay? Rice, you kind of pack it down. Pickled root vegetables in there, daikon and burdock. Burdock, yep. Yep. You kind of it's like a. If it's little, yours, you can lick the. Like it's like a, an envelope. Yeah, 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 like an envelope. Put some water on the yeah, one so that's going cute. to the other. That is adorable. But this, they stay crisp, you know. The seaweed will start to get soggy if you have it in there for hours, but that's cool. Portable snack. You've competed in all the races over the years. I mean, maybe not all of them, all, but a lot quite, of quite them. a few of them yeah. in terms of the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. And throughout all of the racing, you've been a vegan. Is that correct? I have since 1999, so 24 years now. Okay. Um, and all my like big wins were when I was vegan. There was a few years when I was just kind of like dabbling in ultras. So yeah, my first Western States 100 victory. Uh, in 1999? In 1999. And then... That's a big, <laughs> that's a big piece She freaking loves now. these. Grilling up some veggies now. So we made some onigiri. These two veggies. Some sushi rice, um, you know, starches and some roots. And now uh, phase two is, is some veggies and another bit of protein. We're gonna do some tofu. Um, and shishito peppers going right now, and I believe we have kabocha squash and mushrooms. That's right. Yeah. Do it all, shiitake mushrooms. 
nó mệt mỏi And usually the um, shishitos, um, I forgot the fancy salt, um, but usually you just kind of, after Put they come off, them, yeah. you just get a little bit of salt on them. And I'm gonna show you on there, if you wanna have a little salt, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, the beauty, um, yeah, with this stuff is like, you just throwing it on for a little bit, but I think a lot of times people are like, oh, I can't, I can't cook. They really want things spelled out with the recipe, but I'm more of a fan of like, not winging it, but, Experimenting more. Learn what you're doing. What are you? What are you interested in trying first? I've tried. I've been, Matt's been nibbling. <laughs> I. When I, that's how I cook. I like. I have to. But um, I'm actually curious to try one of the ones that have one of the onigiri with the the burdock. Secret tip: This bean potter used to tell us that black sesame seeds prevents getting gray here. Uh -oh. So in some Asian, oh, little little part. Asian medicine, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Keep, okay. keep doing that. All right. And maybe don't have kids. Yeah. yeah. Stuff yeah. Up here. I'm yeah. going to try one of these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you going to try? Uh, I'm on. Do whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, you have a lot here, so I can... 